Are you all right? I can't, Tom. You want me to call the manager? Uh, I... on turning the channels. Maybe you could handle it. Okay? Okay, Mom. Thanks. Dog off the table. No! Mom, well, what are you doing? Mom, you're throwing our dinner away. No, no, I'm not, Stevie. These are just leftovers. Aren't they? Come and take 
take my daddy away. He died. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> I miss my daddy. Oh, <laughs> Go tell your shrink, will you? That's what I pay him for. Hey. Charlie. Hey. Wake up, Charlie. Wake up. Cassie? Cassie, I'm ordering you to open the door. Come on, Cass. Dr. Warner, one in radiology, please. Miss Barrett? Dr. Warner? You awake? Well, it's about time, too. Gloria, is that you? Of course it ain't me. It's Gladys Knight and Pips. Then that means I'm really back in. Mm-hmm. Mercy. Don't you look awful. Wait for you to say so. But I feel worse than I look. Six months on outside sure didn't do you a whole lot of good. I guess some folks make it, and some just don't. You have rare diagnostic ability, Gloria. You must be the envy of your peers. Where are my hands tied? 
Don't you remember? No. Way I heard it. You was more than a bit rowdy coming in here last night. Lucky you ain't in a straight jacket. You please? Now, you know I don't have the authority to do that. Got to be on your Dr. Alexander's orders. Well, where is he anyway? Shouldn't those shrinkers be in here by now? You're not his only patient, you know. I guess he'll be buying his own good time. Say, you met your roommate yet? Mrs. Caliguire, may I introduce you to Mrs. Barrett? Mrs. Barrett? Gloria, I've got to make a phone call. It's really very important. So if you could find Nurse Dalton and tell her that I'm really feeling a whole lot better, and I'd like to get up now. Gloria. I'll try. Second one all the time, Miss Caliguire? Miss Caliguire? Now, now, Mr. Ludwig. Are you going to take the medication, or do I call Nurse Dalton? We heard you were back, Cassie. Except you was too tied up to drop by and see us. <laughs> How are you, Frank? Hi. Kind of thought you'd be out of here by now. Oh, I, I think I'll be going home soon. Now that they figured out what's wrong with me. Besides no gut. It's middle-aged depression. What they call uh, involutional melancholia. Well, I'm sure it'll pass soon. It better, because if it doesn't, they're going to plug him into a wall socket and slip him the bolt. Happy, you haven't met Abdul. He is new. Shazam. He doesn't say much, but he plays poker like a Romanian. He ain't so good. He only wins because he cheats. Oh, Mr. Ludwig, you shouldn't say things like that. He's a prophet. He's a very religious man. Prophet? My ass for a tablet. He's nothing but a junkie with a weird old name. <laughs> what kind of name is Abdul? What are you anyway, a Negro or an Abraham? Hey, I, I don't know if I'd talk to him like that if I were you, Ludwig. He looks pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got something hidden away in my cellar. Take care of him. What's that? Your wife? <laughs> no, you commie moron. I'm talking about a 44 Magnum. Like what Clint Eastwood used to blow away all them niggers and pimps. That six old Abdul, wouldn't it? Pow, pow, pow! Get him right down the sides. Ease up, Abdul. You show too much spunk around here, you'll get a visit from the chlorpromazine kid. You know what I mean? You know, I I've got to make a phone call. And um, I seem to have left the house without my purse. I, I wonder if any of you high rollers would care to lend me a dime. I don't lend money to females, but she's here every time. I have a dime. Thanks, Frank. Sure. Shazam! 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 All right, you crackpot. Three natural bullets. Let's see you beat that. I'm sorry, it is. He cheated. The twit had the deuce hidden up under that skirt of his. Yeah! Yeah! He's yeah! I saw him. Yeah! 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 Yeah!